Cutting down trees is known as deforestation. Although the development of houses for people is important, what about the homes of the innocent animals that live in the forest presently? Has anybody given any thought to them? All of these animals and the forest itself help the environment. From the smallest insect to the largest animal, from the tiniest seed to the biggest tree, all of them help something known as the ecosystem. An ecosystem is when plants, animals, and organisms in an area interact with each other and their environments, such as weather and earth. Here are the effects of deforestation: extinction. Through the act of deforestation, many plants and insects become extinct because of their homes being destroyed. Under the big trees, there are often no little trees. When the big trees are cut down, there will be nothing to replace them other than housing developments. Habitat fragmentation. This is where homes are disturbed and animals are caused to move into other habitats that are already occupied. As you can imagine, this causes conflict and fighting, along with homelessness and lack of food. Soil erosion. When trees and plants are removed, the rain washes all of the nutrients in the top of the soil away. As you probably already know, soil allows plants to grow and for gas exchanges to happen between the land and air. Soil also provides habitat for most of the organisms on Earth. It holds and cleans water and recycles nutrients. Flooding. When it rains really heavily in certain areas, trees act as an interceptor. This means that they behave like umbrellas. They hold the water and store it. This reduces the severity of flooding. Desertification. Destroying the plant life here means that the soil will become exposed to harsh winds. The salt in the sand will fall on top of the ground, causing a lack of growth. Hence, what's left is a desert. Furthermore, when trees are cut down, sunlight is more exposed. This causes evaporation of the lakes, which in turn limits water supplies. Pollution. Amongst wood, oil and gas are used in various ways to develop houses. This causes lots of smoke and pollution, which is extremely damaging for the environment. Climate change. Trees take a lot of carbon dioxide from the air, which reduces the rate of global warming. If trees are cut down, the rate of global warming increases. Lastly, but importantly, trees provide lots of oxygen for us to breathe, 